Hey yo together and very welcome to the StarCraft 2 Crazy Replay! I searched through some old replays I found and I found that one. A pretty good one I think. As I'm not quite sure but it said it was with a master rank 2 Terran player. So here we are on Vani Research Station spawning at the 12 o'clock position. It's Nesno. And his opponent spawning at the 6 o'clock position of Vani Research Station. It's me, Alex Sasher. So I have no clue what to expect as this replay. This game is like two months old. Like it was played in July, I guess. Not quite sure about that, but Vani Research Station definitely a bit older. And yeah. So with that. I really have no clue what we can expect out of this game. We have gas first for Nesno and for me as well. So quite similar opening. Only the SCVs, okay they are rare, really equal, but the refinery could be a bit earlier I guess. Uh, maybe just slightly, maybe, I'm not quite sure, the barracks as well. Ah, I'm a bit early with the barracks. That's that's nice. But yeah, so far quite similar opening. And as I said, no clue what he's playing. So we have to wait and see. Interestingly, uh, if I watch, for example, Pro League or GSL, they often okay. I'm not I'm not quite sure about GSL, but Pro League they they play. Often with a very old ladder pool. My, I mean, they have, I guess they have still Echo and Vani Research Station in their map pool for, for Pro League, which is like, yeah, some months old. But still, those are good maps and I enjoy watching. That was just one thing I wanted to point out. And he's going for the Marine as well as me. Look at that timing of the Marine. It's so equal. It's. Ah, I'm a bit. I'm just. Slightly behind him with the, with the SUV, but that uh, marine. But that's fine, I guess. We have the second gas coming down earlier for the snow than for me. Uh, but there we go, second gas on the way as well. Just a bit later, but for my build, it matches totally fine, so that's okay. And behind that, we have the Reaper. So very interesting. One marine, then one Reaper. So he will be able to defend quite good with the marine, but also uh, with the Reaper and the marine but also be able to scout which can indeed be very helpful and then we have the starport for both players as well and the reaper will try to sneak in we have the tech lab so no hellion for now and a second marine just for defensive purposes i guess and what will this reaper be up to just grabbing the watchtower which is fine I mean, you, you could go, yeah, there you go, you could go in with the late reaper, but of course you need to be a bit careful because mm, this reaper could die, as there might be more units out, but he scouts everything, the reaper will die, but he saw quite a lot, did he see the second gas? No, but with the, oh, he didn't see the starport either, uh, maybe it was in the air, so that's, that's the thing. So he's not a tech lab. You could assume it's Banshee, so he goes for the Raven himself, which is good. And behind that, we have the reactor on the factory. So 1 1 1 for Nesno and me, of course. And I guess it will soon see. There we go, SCV 4 and this SCV as well for the pocket base. Get the expansion natural going on. You need that extra income quite early. Six minutes. Could be, I mean, there is the Reaper fast expand. Uh, six minutes now is okay. Uh, both is viable. And there we go with the Raven. Do we see some. Okay, more Marines. A Viking. Really helpful against Banshee. And for me, we have indeed the tanks and the Marines and the Medivacs. Where are the Hellions or the Widow Mines? I mean, we got the Reactor Factory, but isn't producing anything out of it quite yet. So. Mm, I guess this build could be executed with CRISPR. Uh, but there we go, maybe this is fine, I don't know, I, I haven't seen enough pro games to know if this is a pro build or not. 
I just know the build I'm playing is played was played by Tasia and Liquid Bunny and it's super viable on two player maps or three player maps, even on four player maps, it can deal quite some damage, can kill your opponent straight up if you are good enough and a bit lucky with the uh, opponent. And we have the second factory for Nesno, so this guy opts to go for Mech. And uh, that's very interesting. Mech is quite powerful in TVT. It's also really powerful in TVC and can be quite fun in TVP as well. So I really like that HOTS is that good balance. It's not perfectly balanced but really good I would say. And then we have the Raven on the way and it's of course not scouted as I got the Hellion position uh, and I killed the Reaper. So those Medivex, the Medivex with the boost and the Raven with the soon 3 auto turret. Oh, there's the scan. He goes back. Ooh. Oh no. He. Ah. So I will land this drop perfectly. And this might deal a ton of damage. Normally I would like to drop on top of the production to kill any outcoming tank instantaneously. But so far it's not looking too bad. Some SUVs are going down. Not the best micro on the Marines. The turrets dealing a lot of damage. Tanks are falling. Landed Vikings helping out as well. The Raven falls from the snow, that's not really good, but the tank behind that dealing a lot of damage, but 10 SCVs killed in the process and okay, I haven't produced really good amount of SCVs continuously at the meantime, but I dealt a damage I needed to as you can see in the unit lost tab and as well here, two tanks. Okay, I, I, I lost the tanks, didn't kill any tanks, no viable tag as those are just uh, despite the Raven, the rest is only mineral heavy unit, so I guess it's okay for Nesno as he's playing Mac. Uh, he he has a gas as well, and then we see the command center, the third one on the way. And yeah, we have additional barracks as I'm playing a bio wish style, not real bio as as like. Normal pro players would play bio. I'm playing it a little bit difficult, uh, different. I'm going for instantaneously Raven behind that. So that I will have in the mid game like 6 to 8 Raven. And if the opponent isn't going for heavy Vikings, which they normally aren't doing against bio, I mean they have like yeah, 6 to 8, which is okay, but for, for drop defenses, but normally you're not up against like. 12 to 16 Vikings in the mid game. So the Raven are very viable. You get one PDD and they can get near enough to the tanks to kill them, back off, and then the bio cans them in and deal a lot of damage. At least if you don't lose the Raven, you can trade away all your bio and you will be fine. There we have a scan from the snow. And oh, I like that Marine. And I also like the Hellions and the tanks moving down. Mm, they don't see the Marine yet, but. Soon should do that. And yeah, there we have the Viking. Look at that. That's really nice. It's not on patrol. And he could have had it a little bit more away from his base so that he could react. Or uh, that the Vikings could shoot more Wallis until the Medivacs would float in. But that's okay. Uh, we have Medivacs for Nesno himself. As I guess this is for Helmet Drops. Yeah. Blue Flame Helmet Drops. Very popular. Very strong. Not only for harassment purposes, but also. Uh, to drop on top of the bio army, which is really difficult to deal with because marines are dying really fast. Marauder, they can tank a little bit and with the concussive shells this is indeed nice to have, but still a bit difficult as they are not dealing as much damage versus Halbert as you wish. So yeah, we have one medivac. This medivac won't do any damage I guess. I will get the sensor turret, uh, the, the Sanaga tower, sorry. Which is nice, but against that many Vikings in position, I guess, this little drop can't deal enough damage. Yeah, this was just to grab the Watchtower again. I would have loved to see Nesno uh, having one Marine or Hell in here as well. Just to know when I'm expanding. Because currently it's looking quite good in the Harvest account, but I need to expand. There we go. And he scanned, right? Yeah, he scans, sees it right now. Uh, ex uh, ex expansion being taken. Oh uh, yeah, there are the Hellbats. Uh, he should saturate this gas a little bit better. 
There we go, finally with the turrets. Something he will need. I would love to see uh, sensor turrets as well for both players. I mean, I'm really good defensive uh, setup with the drop defense right here. So if there are any helmets coming in, they will be deflected. Uh, not the best defense at the main base, as we got just tanks. And he could drop on top of that. But we have how many Vi Raven? Raven? Five Raven. So, double star for Raven behind that. I got the upgrade, the. Uh, what was it called? Uh. Corv Cor Corvid Reactor. Uh, okay. And there we have the sensor turret and more missile turrets as well. I like the vision. Both players are trying to obtain here with the marines and the hellions, so you know what's going on, who's going to expand, who's going to attack. There we go for some turrets as well. Very passive game so far, but uh, the only thing is that my bio upgrades are really, really late. But that is because I haven't gotten the eBay's early enough. I could have done this and delayed the raven a little bit, but for now it's fine. We have another barracks, armory going down, he scans again, sees the starport being made. And I'm a bit supply blocked as well as in the snow. Mm, army supply wise and worker supply wise, I'm a little bit ahead. I guess I should transfer some worker from the main base towards the na third base quite soon. And there we have a drop. And he's on plus two soon. We'll have the second armory, so he will be able to get the uh, armor upgrade, the, sh the plating upgrade as well for his mech army. I don't know. Okay, there's another star, but so soon he might be switching into Viking Raven himself. He got a lot of tanks, but nothing to buffer. So if a good uh, surround with Stim and Bio. Okay, there are a lot of. Oh, how many tanks does this guy have? Uh, ten tanks. That's that's good. We can work with that. Ooh, those Marines, so sneaky. Holy. Uh, they will find the tank. Oh yeah, will themselves get a tank, as it looks like, maybe not. Yes, they get a tank. That's not bad. Like, seven marines for a tank is okay. Just trading away minerals for high-tech units. Uh, looking for the third base, fourth base, world base. And then we have the tank, and we got seven medivacs full of hellbats. And this, this attack can deal a lot of damage, but look at that concave. He has an attack in a really bad concave. He scans. I'm scanning as well, see his army and I know that in those medivacs there's trouble waiting. How many vikings are there? Five stars. Oh look at that! Beautiful drop on top of the bio and with that splash damage dealt, that's incredible. No splits at all. And there are the vikings. And the raven. And the P- Oh the seeker missiles! Oh look at that. And overall I would say I've traded okay. Uh, but not being able to get this tank but he has to turn back. Of course, all those Raven are now dead supply, as I got just a little bit of energy left, but soon I will have Seeker missiles again. Uh, this drop, a bit nasty, he loses the tank. And plus 2, plus 2 upgrades for my bio, as well as 1-1 one, one for my max or Viking Raven. And the good thing is, because I did the switch so early, I'm on 8 Raven and 4 Vikings now, and he's on 7 Vikings and no Raven at all. And um, yeah, I'm on three starports. He is on how many starports does he have? Uh, three starports for me and just two for him. So I can produce more stuff there. We have a big attack here, opting to kill some tanks which are pretty low. And I might get some with good focus fire there. Should take out the left tank as well. Come on, not gonna do that. But trading away as best as I can. There we go with the PDDs and. As long as we got energy on the on the Raven, I can deal a lot of damage. Look at that. Bam, bam. Killing stuff left and right. He got Thor now, so he can zone out the Raven and the Vikings, but uh, it's still quite even. I should definitely turn back here. So much stuff. Oh, more Seeker missiles. He's clumping like crazy. Ooh, taking big blows there, but not getting the tank. And I have to turn back. He could chase with the Vikings, but as he doesn't know if there are any Marines or Vikings for myself, it's a bit risky. Vikings are faster than Raven, but still, if you don't know what your opponent got and where he got it, then it can be very risky to to chase them down. Still, very equal uh, supply-wise and resources lost as well. So he got his fourth base, 
and he's repairing some of his army. I like that. You always should repair your stuff if you can afford it. Uh, of course, you miss a bit of mining time, but you don't want to lose to a battle because your army wasn't at full health when it could have been. So that's a good thing. Uh, gold base taken from both players. Very nice. And there we go with the Xelnaga Watchtower again. Definitely you need the vision. I would have loved to see more sensor turrets, maybe one turret at the natural as well. And one at the fourth base for the snow. I could have also used a sensor turret myself at the natural. Uh, currently I'm lacking minerals, but I got so much energy on the orbital command. And I got the gold base up and running quite soon, so I can work with that. This little push out. How many Vikings? does Nesno have? Um, he got 15, I got just 7 Vikings, but 13 Raven against non-Raven. And he still didn't change it to Raven, so he didn't transition to it. He's sticking to just pew pew units. Uh, which is okay, it can work, but Raven are just such a good unit. I mean, ooh, very carefully there. This could deal a lot of damage. Uh, tanks are siege, need to be carefully there. I scan again, I see his army. Uh, I would love to see maybe two tanks and eight marines sneak in and pressure the fourth ba uh, base of Nesno. This could work quite well. Uh, a lot of scans are going on down here. I can't really see uh, attack into that. Uh, no way. So, but it, it looks like I'm trying to set up a flank or anything like that. But now he's going full ham on my gold base and I have to evacuate this base. It's not gonna happen. Vikings will kill this command center. At least my my SCVs can escape. And now we go here. Base trace scenario initiated. But I guess Miss No turns back and tries to defend. There's a planetary, but not a lot of SCVs uh, are there to repair. The turret attacking the Vikings, which is indeed a big blow here. Uh, Raven in position. There he comes. He needs to be very careful. Not being able to deal enough damage with the planetary. Oh, the Raven! The Raven! Carefully there! Hunter Seeker missiles! Get out of there! So many of the Hunter Seeker missiles! Oh my god! Look at those explosions! But in the end, not the best connections! And I have to turn back. And I will lose all of those Vikings. At least the Raven survived. Uh, so far, I only lost three Raven, which is okay. But now we go. Nesno going into Raven himself. Yeah, that's, that, that is really nice. And income wise. I have way too many harvesters here, 82, this is way too much. I need to saturate the gas geysers, uh, get the 5th base as well, and try to defend this attack. Uh, I got not too much bio here, just a couple of marines. I would have loved to have more marauder, uh, which I'm currently not producing, and I also should repair the raven. So. He got now four starports producing Raven and one with the reactor for Vikings, which is really good against the three starports. I got so five against three starports, which means he could potentially uh, remix faster on air. Uh, but he got such a strong ground force with a lot of Thor, like seven Thor, holy, with two, three upgrades, tanks as well, a couple of tanks there, five and some raven and some helmets to tank and this attack is indeed quite strong scans lots of scans going down there's the auto command no planetary fortress so this could kill could be killed quite easily and still just marines i mean marines have a good damage output but they are not really tanky they don't deal extra damage against tanks i will be able to maybe kill two thors here if you isn't carefully and there we go big engagement a lot of raven Oh, uh, PDDs, Hunter Seeker Missiles, Marines not being microed here, but the Seeker Missiles are strong with this one. Oh, I'm losing a lot of Raven there. To his Seeker Missiles, very well done there. Uh, that was a big mistake for me, going way too deep. And with that, it's 8 Raven against 5. He turns, he pulls back, which is okay. But overall, losing that many Raven, not splitting at all. Not reacting in time, that was a big blow, so... Very equal, a very even match. Mm, I think he should repair his stuff as well, as I should, with the Raven. Uh, there are some Hellions, and there are some Marines. But it's okay, he can kill 
Oh, there are the Marauder with the slow. That's helpful. Yeah, he definitely should kill some SCVs for me because I'm way oversaturated everywhere. Being a bit annoying, pulling me back and then striking at the 5th base, 4th base again with uh, Vikings, tanks and auto turrets. But it looks like this Orphan Command this time could survive. And he pulls back again. He got the map control, the map vision. I like this sensor turret a lot. Should have had another one here, right there and some turrets as well. But that's fine. Uh, auto Command survives but those auto turrets are still there. And if I want to go with the SCVs back to mining, those could kill a lot of the SCVs there. But uh, another scan went down here. I might be able to kill all these tanks. Ah, oh, good siege up. Not the best splits, not the best focus fire, but in the end, it's enough bio to deal with that fast enough that not other got uh, everything got killed. Like, oh, the Viking assault, the Raven assault. Sorry, uh, he's not putting any seeker missiles there. Oh my God! Ah, oh, big blows, very big explosions. That was that was really good for me. That that Raven assault flank. Really nice. He needs to cancel command center. Not gonna happen. Uh, he loses the Thor potentially. Uh, no, no chance for the tank to survive. And now I'm pushing in. Somehow, some way, I managed to go up 100 supply. And I guess Ness no is in a big trouble here. We might see this GG soon. He got no bank, which you normally got as Mecking Terran. But I was trading so much here the whole time uh, after the passive game was over. And now it's looking bad for him. Killing the starport. Very important. He sees up with the tanks and because of the tools I can't go in quite yet, but oh taking another gold base. Big reinforcements are coming and Yeah, overall Ah he's in a very difficult situation, to be honest. Uh, he got enough mining bases, so if he can hold hold and, and stand strong, then maybe there's a way for him to come back, but it's looking so bad. This orbital command will fall for sure. And the planetary fortress could fall as well. Uh, he got tanks but no air control so he needs to rely on scans and with losing an orbit command this is very difficult. The must repair on this planetary is strong but is it enough? Is it enough? Uh, I'm trading so badly with the marauder on top of that but now we go with the raven. Mass auto turrets they will deal so much damage and the planetary falls marauder such a good unit. Mm, I like it. And oh my god, all those marines, they will have a lot of trouble, tanks are pulling back, the auto is not dealing too much damage here to be honest, as you can see, just 4 per hit, but zoning out a lot, dealing constant damage, and they are quite tanky as well. Uh, did I get the upgrades for those guys? No, so I could have had the building and the uh, high sec auto tracking upgrades, the building armor, that would be nice, oh god. Need to kill those turrets. I'm maxed now, Nesno. Not even close to being maxed. And harvest account for him, just 50 SCVs, which is normally good as mag time, but uh, gold base, heavily mined there. He's lacking everything now. Income, and of course, the army. And there we have the, the possible final assault. Seeker missiles, PDDs. Ah, uh, carefully there. Splitting the Vikings, not the best splits here, taking some hits, but in the end the PDDs are strong for me and I got more energy on the Raven, so I will just be able to overwhelm him with numbers, there we go, GG. And that was a very passive game in the, in, in, in the beginning, but a bit back and forth, a, pos a potential base trade scenario. Very interesting game, I like that. And I know that this might not work against real pro player uh, going for a super early Raven, but in Master League, like top 8, it's viable. And I will stretch this out as much as I can, and then we will see how far I can go. And if it doesn't work anymore, then I will try harder, uh, maybe get better as well, then I have to switch it up and I will be fine again, but we will see that. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. As always, I wish you a very nice day and good.